Good evening. Thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 15th day in the month of August 2022. I am Chia Omahe Frost. The headlines. Senator Kalu takes project tour to Inato Leru as constituents pledge full support. Teenage girl who scored 8 A's in Waiyek makes 351 in Jamb. Over Nambikanu's case, Aloy Ejimako asks federal government to set aside proscription of IPOB, release leader after court ruling. We'll take commercials and be right back with details on many more. Stay connected. The biggest bang of the season is about to go down. It's the ABN TV Service Awards 2022 at Sheraton's Hotels, Abuja. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermoto Oil is as durable as Titanic. Welcome back. Now, the details. The director of ABN TV and radio, a leading online news medium in Nigeria, Mr. Ifani Okali, has congratulated the head station Flow FM Umaya, Abbey State, Mr. Samson Eze, at the occasion of his birthday describing him as a committed, hard-working young man. He noted with excitement that since he took over the position and the station, Mr. Eze has brought a lot of innovations and creativity to bear in repositioning the FM station as the envy of others. In continuation of his project's inspection tour, Senator representing Abia North Senatorial District of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzokalo, as the weekend visited in Nato community where the people received him along with his entourage with excitement. Chief Whip of the Senate, Senator Oji Uzokalo, says the cattle market in Lopmanta Omunochi local government area of Abbey State was set up to drive revenue for the development of the area. Kalu, who visited the community during his Mitham World to World tour, explained that the area was supposed to get 5% of the revenue generated from the market for its development. A young Nigerian girl, Ogunjobi Moyolua Adekemi, has demonstrated an outstanding brilliance in her 2022 YEC and UTME results. Taiwo Ogunjobi, who announced this in a mail, said Moyolua had A1 in eight papers with 1B. Taiwo revealed that she was the overall best student in school since JSS1. She also scored seven A's in 2021 YEC. According to the mail, the smart kid has the word, yes, I can, pasted on her table to serve as a motivation for her to keep pushing hard towards her goal. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdekano's special counsel, Barista Aloy Ejimako, has demanded that the federal government should reverse the proscription of the group. He also asked that President Muhammadu Buhari led administration should release Kano since Abia High Court has ruled in his favor. Peter Obi is confident that the efforts put in by his supporters nationwide to promote his presidential ambition will not be futile. The Labour Party presidential candidate said, United together, we will take back our country from bad governance and institute true and diligent leadership and sustainable development. The Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Keyamo, has insisted that he broke no law by accepting to be spokesman of the All Progressives Congress Presidential Campaign Council, a civil society organization, CSO, the Transition Monitoring Group, TMG, had asked Keyamo to resign as a minister to enable him to carry out his campaign appointments objectively. Senator Ali Ndume has said the Nigerian army is finding it difficult to solve security challenges in different parts of the country because it doesn't have the modern equipment required to fight terrorism. Ali Ndume disclosed this during an interview on Channel Television's Politics Today. And on foreign scene, Russian President Vladimir Putin congratulated his Indian counterparts Draupadi Moma and Prime Minister Narendra Modi 
on the 75th anniversary of the Republic's independence, according to a message published on Monday on the Kremlin website. While on sports, a late wonder strike from Esther Onyenezide and Nigeria's power connects a hard fought one to zero win against South Korea in their second group C game at the FIFA U20 Women's World Cup on Sunday. And that brings us to the end of the news. But before we go, a recap of the major headlines. Senator Kalu takes project tour to Nyatol Nero as constituents pledge full support. Teenage girl who scored eight A's in Wayek makes 351 in jump. Over Namdekanu's case, Aloy Ejimako asks federal government to set aside proscription of IPOB and release leader after court ruling. For these and many more, log on to our website at www.abntv.com.ng or visit any of our social media platforms displayed on screen. Do have a lovely night rest. I am Chini Romai.